Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about why shorts want another AMC short ETF, acquiring more AMC, the manipulation, and many more in this video. Firstly, taking a look at this. Yes, another find issuing a prospectus outlining the desires for a 1x short AMC daily ETF. On top of what all credible sources are saying, theatrical exhibition is on track to top pre-COVID levels. Either these funds are incredibly pessimistic or know something that the vast majority don't know or have have jumped atop the bandwagon with others who learned to game the system to take advantage of a feeble SEC. So essentially, they want something else that will profit off with the price of AMC going down. Now, when you take a look at this and you understand how firms are trying to make money, firms normally assess the market that they are in, firms assess the information, the news, and kind of make a prediction for the long-term projection. Now, in typical cases, when you see a company that's improving in their financials and in the industry in which they are in are all recovering and going to be at the highest it's ever been, you will predict that the companies in that industry will do well hence why you probably want to long that stock and so these are all the news we are getting we are getting news that amc is improving we're getting news that the box office is recovering and on top of all the innovations that amc has done on top of all the new revenue streams that amc has made people are still betting on the fact that amc will go down or at least they want to profit from the fact that amc will go down and again when you take a look at that when you understand what's going on it's ridiculous to think that AMC will go down in a market like this. But yeah, that's exactly what these funds think. And you can see they're either incredibly pessimistic or they know something uh, or rather jump on top of the bandwagon with others. And this is what we talked about. The reason why they want this is because they want to apply more short pressure. They don't think that AMC is going down. What they want is to make things that will make AMC that will go down. So they understand that AMC will go up because you have to be an idiot to think that in a recovering box office where a company is doing more things is actually going to go down and the shorts knows that as well so that's why they're creating new etfs they're creating new products which will make amc go down if created which will create more pressure if created and that's exactly what they want you can see here in the past before about how products created about amc does have an effect so you can see tokenized stocks use futures to kick the can down the road this is why dc is pushing so heavily to make crypto a commodity futures here's a screen grab of amc futures that ran the day ftx filed for bankruptcy they closed open interest out with fractions of pennies where well, you just see it, essentially just take a look at the chart and you can see how it's pretty much going crazy you can see the fluctuation in price for the amc futures and this was on the day that ftx filed for bankruptcy now what we've known was that these tokenized amc holdings these uh, futures of amc were in fact not actually used um, with with real shares these were used for short to quote unquote locate a share but these weren't backed by shares and we know that with the ftx tokens and we know that at the end of the day these were all used to kick the can down the road meaning that it was to prolong the process of all of these shorts crashing of all of these shorts getting liquidated and getting margin called and that's what they did and going back to what we talked about of understanding the desire for a 1x short amc daily etf remember this is the same thing this is to prolong the process of being liquidated of being margin called but also trying to create more pressure what they ultimately want is for the amc price to go as low as possible because it creates the incentive for people to sell their shares what they don't understand and how they are underestimating the apes is they don't understand what our feelings towards amc is you can see here had amc ran at any point in the last three and a half years i wouldn't have anywhere near the quantity of amc stock i have today while waiting for liftoff i'm more than happy to maintain my acquisition efforts i know what i hold and i intend to acquire even more so there are multiple people who think the same way there are many people who have been buying into amc every single day and there are a lot more people every time they see amc have a 10 percent 20 30 percent drop instead of the uh, effect that these shorts want you guys to have of wow amc's dropped 30 percent. i should sell it's actually given the opposite effect it's the fact that amc is now 30 percent cheaper i'm getting myself a bargain i'm getting myself a great investment and that's exactly what pretty much almost 
every single apes think and uh, tell me what you guys think when you see amc go down but you know from what i've gathered from what i've seen that's a lot of people think that way and so they are buying into amc and these this is why the shorts are panicking because in their attempt to push the price down to make people sell their shares every time they spend millions and billions of dollars into whether it's a dark pool whether it's their algorithms whether it's their synthetics whether it's the naked shorts whether it's the ft these whether it's the corruption all of these methods that all cost money every single time they have done this to push the price of amc down they have not succeeded in getting people to sell if anything they've given people the opportunity to buy into amc and that's what i mean by they have underestimated and think entirely the wrong perspective of apes and why they are going to fail and so they can create all of these new products to try and suppress amc but at the end of the day with however much you're suppressing you're not getting people to sell and you're like what we talked about only kicking the can down the road and you can see here in terms of what we talked about with the dot pool and this is also showing how people want amc shares nice little after hour slap for amc 8.5 million buy where you guys can see coming in at 1.57 million but not only that is understanding that the past two to three days amc saw an order over 1.5 million or more after hours dark pools getting flooded now the reason we talk about this is understanding this the reason why trades get rooted into the dark pool is because it doesn't affect the lit market generally when you have a massive order in this case 1.5 million shares you're obviously going to affect the price and so by rooting into the dark pool you don't affect the price and what you can see normally is that more buy orders are routed into the dark pool than there are sell orders because they understand how much buy orders can affect the price so what they don't want is for the buy pressure to affect the market price and what they do want is for the sell pressure to actually affect the price so what we can see is how they're doing now by by the fact that they are hiding away all the buy pressure shows that they are scared about the price increase of amc and i think that is a very good indication to let us understand how price of amc go up can actually harm and impact these short sellers but a second thing of understanding this is how we're suddenly seeing so many buy orders after that hour and also in the dark pool this obviously shows the fact that it's institutions who want amc shares institutions who are willing to buy into amc shares so we can see that whilst they're trying to give the perspective of short sellers of hedge funds of institutions don't want amc shares what we can see is that secretly they are actually accumulating all of these amc shares for themselves as well so we obviously apes are always buying into amc what we're also seeing now is institutions buying into amc but what they don't want is for all of these um, all of these acquiring of amc shares to actually affect the price positively for amc hence why we're seeing this happen and you can also see the public also seem to be eager to keep letting investor place articles dominate amc stocks talking point which is concerning as well where we see multiple um articles again just like what we've seen in the past red flags free stocks drowning debt to sell a stabs amc mentioned why amc stock is the most controversial company you can own um free memes also sell in july before they crash and burn and what we see at number one is amc again constant articles of getting people to sell their amc shares this is what we talked about the fact they are trying to get you to sell your amc shares means that they are scared about something it means that they want amc shares because we can see that from institutions who are always trying to accumulate more and more amc shares newsworthy day apparently amc entertainment stock moves 0.91 percent negative what you should know so this is already be ridiculous a less than one percent move will get news articles to make actual news about this particular stocks and this is why it's ridiculous because a one percent move is more than common you see it in hundreds and thousands of stocks but yet when it's amc everyone should apparently focus on this and there's a big reason why and you guys can see this because when we do get the positive news about amc and understanding brokers are doing to be experts in the field and they're talking about brightening scenarios for stocks such as amc that's included but you what you can see is how the actual price movement of amc 
and you can see Cinemark, IMAX, and AMC, two of which are obviously institutional owned, one of which are retail owned, and you can see that in the time where all theater stocks are supposedly supposed to, um, you know, meant to benefit from this, we can see AMC actually going down as opposed to Cinemark, as opposed to IMAX. And you can see here, AMC on positive news, red. AMC on negative news, red. AMC on buy sell imbalances, red. AMC on sell side imbalances, red. So it's odd that we are seeing red when no matter what happens for AMC and what we can understand is that there's obviously manipulation that it's happening and that's why they've managed to bring the price down. That's why we're not seeing AMC go up. That's why we constantly see articles like this. This is all indicating to the fact that they want you to sell your AMC shares. As always, none of this is ever financial advice to do take wise to consult. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. I'll catch you guys next time.